We're back on BTN Live, Howard, Glenn, and Mike. And unquestionably, the biggest surprise from week two had to be the Illini. I mean, Cincinnati looked great week one against mm -hmm. Purdue and then just got monkey stomped against the Illini. And we bring in the guy who's in charge of that offense right now. It's Nate Shieldhouse. Nate, what made this win on Saturday so important? Yeah, you know, I think it was a big win for the program. Um, I think what was exciting about it for us as players is that, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough task against Cincinnati. Um, you know, they, they did look great on film. They had a great week one against Purdue and really have been a, a great program over the last couple of years. Um, and we're bringing in a good team. And you know, just to go out there on, on Saturday and see, you know, everything we worked on during the week to, to really uh, happen out there on the field was, was exciting for all of us as players. Um, you know, it was a big win for us and, and, and really was – a great feeling being 2-0 and after that one. We get to watch your offense be so explosive, but from your perspective, what is most glaringly different about your offense this year compared to last year? You know, I think just the playmakers um, and watching those guys make plays. Uh, you know, when you're back there as quarterback, um, you know, to have guys that, that are able to just go out there and make plays and, and really have big plays like we've had, I think that's been the biggest difference. I don't think we had a lot of big plays last year. I think, no, honestly, in our first game, um, I think we matched the amount of big plays out there. And I think really what it comes down to is us as players going out there and making them on the field. And, and I think we've seen guys do that. We, we've seen the, the Ryan Lake versus Josh Ferguson step up and, and make big plays when those opportunities are there. And, and as a quarterback, it's nice to have guys like that around you. Hey, Nate, we were joking around with Mike Hall uh, because he went to the University of Missouri. You're from Kansas City, played at Rockhurst High School for Tony Severino. You had a great career there. What factors went into your decision to attend the University of Illinois? Well, uh, you know, I'm pretty old now, so it seems like forever ago when I, <laughs> I made that decision. Um, you know, but, but for me, it was the people. I enjoyed being a, you know, just being around the people up here. I enjoyed really the, the teammates that I, I was going to surround myself with. And, and now being on the other end, um, you know, obviously being a fifth-year senior and being around guys for, for so long, it's been great, uh, you know, the company I've been around. You know, I just got married this, this last summer, and, um, you know, I had – uh, four guys in, in my wedding um, you know, that, that were teammates of mine. So I think when you have, uh, you know, something like that, it's more than just, you know, what you guys are doing out there on the field. It's friendships that, you know, will last a lifetime. Nate, talk to me a little bit about just how you've grown into this offense. I, I think when I saw you in the spring, you didn't look as comfortable as you are right now. What were some of the things that you needed to get adjusted to? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You're exactly right. You know, in the spring, I think you're just kind of feeling – Feeling things out. Um, you're obviously learning, you know, how, how you know, Coach Cubitt wanted things. You're learning, um, you know, what, what the calls are exactly, what the, you know, signals are exactly. And there's a lot of just, I guess, thinking going on in the spring. And that's all right. I mean, that's something you expect. As a quarterback, you've got to know, you know, exactly what everyone's supposed to be doing. So, you know, I want to be as comfortable out there as possible going into week one. And I think all of our guys have done a good job of, you know, not only making themselves comfortable, but making me so comfortable with what they're doing. Hey, Nate, you've got off to a great start 2013 season. New offensive coordinator, Bill Kubit. New wife, which you already mentioned. Who gets the credit? Oh, I think my wife probably gets the credit. For <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> Smart <laughs> man. <laughs> No doubt, but it, it, honestly, um, it's been great having her around, um, you know, having her support, uh, you know, having home-cooked meals and just getting to share this experience. Um, yeah, that, that's something that is special, but, you know, with Coach Cuba, it's been fun. Uh, it's been fun just to learn from him. I think all of our guys have learned a lot from him and uh, will continue learning a lot. Uh, he's able to relate to the guys well, um, you know, and he's been around this game for a long time. I think all, all of the guys understand that and understand to the plan he's trying to implement, and it's about us, you know, kind of going out on the field and getting it done. Nate, big game this weekend in Chicago in Soldier Field. How excited are you about having an opportunity to play here? No, we're excited. Um, you know, I think that's one that, you know, when that was put on the schedule, uh, getting an opportunity to go to a great venue in Soldier Field and, and um, you know, represent our university was something that we're all looking forward to. Nate Shieldhouse, congratulations on the great start to the year. Thanks for the time. Thank you, guys.